nine months, literally right here, sculpting the Mother Humanity that you see outside. But nine months and looking at all of this, which wasn't here, nothing but old cars and boxes and junk. This place was a great inspiration because it's full of junk all over the place. So this is where I live. This is where the Mother Humanity was literally born. Thank you all really for inviting me to see all and the things that I've done. And um, I want to actually... Just vacation, okay? Huh? We watch every year. But did you know that there was a young black man who was designing floats and building floats literally by himself at that time? Wow. And we were both inspired. I've never seen a black man do anything that huge. So when it came to the mother of humanity, I said, sure, I could do it. If Lazar could do it, I would, we could do it. You know? Lazar McDaniels. This brother will go down in history. His story hasn't been told yet, but when it is, we'll all be able to appreciate what his life meant. So um, he inspired me to think big. And sometimes we need inspiration to think big. And if you think the mother of humanity out there is big, wait till I tell you the one we're building in Cameroon, twice the size of the Statue of Liberty. Twice the size of the Statue of Liberty? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's Chilash. So we'll get to that. Wow. <laughs> and uh, later on was a really great um, singer and actress. Yeah. But I kind of lucked up and I did a statue of Michael Jackson and I literally gave it away to the family. And his father thought I was crazy because it was gold plated. And so he said, you got a gold mine in your backyard? Why are you giving it? Is he crazy? But I gave it to him because I wanted to express my appreciation to him and Catherine for bringing Michael into the world. So it just so happened, a friend of mine uh, who's a musician, we walked into the studio and lo and behold, I had a picture. The guy said, what do you do? You're the quiet one over there. My friend who was a musician, they say, you're not going to believe this, but our studio just got commissioned to do a statue for Michael as an award. Do you think wow. you'd be interested? I wow. said, let me think about it for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and so this ended up being a statue, uh, an award that I created for Michael Jackson in uh, 1990. Wow. Uh, and uh, I went on to become a bodyguard for Michael and uh, designed Ooh. some other awards for him as well. Wow. And also wow. that year I did something for Stevie Wonder, okay. uh, the Maasai Princess. But then the riots happened, and I turned my attention to humanity, and that's oh, after doing Gandhi and King. Um, but then the riots happened. You can see it. Well, it's right behind here. Oh, yeah. You can hardly see it, but I've got close-up pictures of it. So we were sculpting this right between the B and the C for all that time. And WLCAC, they were really cool about everything. They started to put up these signs on Central Avenue, Mothers on the Way. Wow. So they were really promoting it. And then, of course, they um, highlighted the unveiling. Wow. So this is just scratching the surface. But here are more pictures. And we... That's Orla. <laughs> <laughs> A young Orla. Yeah. 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 In the middle. That's Orlin. Yeah, that's myself and that's Orlin. Yeah. People suggested, they said, hey, Nigel, LA is more than just a black and Korean community. What about uh, whites and what about Africans and so forth? So they gave me the idea to consolidate everything into one statue. Mm -hmm. And this is how it started out as one figure. This is a wax figure. Mm -hmm. But the idea was to. <laughs> bring all of humanity in this one figure. And this is how it started. You could see the flags were kind of the same. And she's now standing on the globe of the world. And this is more of the wax. But I said I got to design it better. And this is what I came up with. This is the model for what you see outside. This is what eventually became known as the mother of humanity. And the name was um, given to me by a friend of mine. He is this guy. And you could actually see us here, right here in this very spot. Yeah. This wow. is where the statue was created. And Bob Watt, 
the gentleman standing there, he's a member of the LA Philharmonic, he was my martial arts student at the time, and he said, you may should call it the mother of humanity, so that's how it got his name. But I want to tell you something incredible, and I really mean incredible. All right, this is the warehouse. This is where we're standing right now. Yeah. <laughs> but I want you to look at something. Do you see the letters B and C in there? Do you see that? Yeah. Well, my side you see that? Too yeah. good right now. Okay. Yeah. They had they had letters at different stations because this was a huge warehouse. Oh. We just happened to put the statue between the B and the C. Now, if I say DC, what comes to mind? Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, I'm not being blasphemous. Don't anybody attack me for what I'm about to tell you. But, believe it or not, right there on, on this ledge, you can't hardly see it. Okay, but this is where we are. There was a picture right here. Of right what? behind this ladder. Guess who the picture was of? Orlin. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a picture, a famous picture of the head of Jesus. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. Wow. And it was there. Yeah. It was wow. there watching the construction this really? whole time. Wow. Of that event. Um, 92? In 92. Wow. And uh, Orland and I, we lived in the same building. And after the riot, I wanted to try to do something to help heal the community because I knew something that a lot of people didn't realize and that is we're all one human family. Even though we're born in different regions of the world, we're all really interconnected. Because the first woman, the African woman, DNA, gave birth to you, 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 and you, and you. That same DNA. So we're literally all connected. So, before the riots, remember that there was an incident um, with the uh, young lady from Russia Harlem's? Yeah. Okay, so my first idea was I wanted to create a monument to show solidarity between the Korean community and the African American community. And it was called the Greater Los Angeles Goodwill Monument. And so I proposed that statue to be created and then, of course, the riots came, and that changed everything. Yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, <laughs> well, the guy sleeping. Can you get video? Yeah, just video. No, no, I'm going to take a picture now. Okay. Wait. <laughs> 